Hey guys, welcome to the video Spring Security Logout Link with me, Nam Hà Minh from CodeJava.net. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use a hyperlink for a logout instead of a button. And the reason that uh, we need to use a logout hyperlink because you want to plan the logout command with the user interface. Let me show you an existing uh, Spring Boot application. Uh, this is Spring Tools with IDE. I'm using to develop my Spring Boot application. Now let me start this Spring Boot application. In this project, I'm using Spring Security for authentication. And uh, as you can see, uh, the embedded Tomcat server is listening on port 8080 and the context Part is uh, shop me admin. Now I access uh, my Spring Boot application. Localhost port number 8080 and the context part. And I have to log in. As you can see in the menu items at the top of the page, you can see the logout button here. And because by default, uh, Spring Security requires uh, the logout command uh, implemented uh, in form of a button. So I want to change this uh, button to a higher bling so it will blend nicely with the menu items here. So that's, that's the reason we want to uh, change the uh, logout button to a uh, logout hyperlink. Uh, you know, by default, uh, Spring Security requires the application uh, sends a uh, HTTP POST request uh, logout uh, to uh, perform the logout command. So in the view, uh, we need to use a button with a form to send a HTTP POST request to the server. Uh, let me show you the code here. So in this uh, project, um, this is a section that I write the code for the logout button here. You can see uh, I have a form here with the action uh, pointing to the URL for what's the last logout method is post here and the submit button value is the caption of the button logout here log out here so when I click the button uh, a, a post request will be sent to the server to perform the log out let me click the log out button here you see I have been logged out from the application now I log in again and you know uh, the reason that uh, Spring Security requires a POST request because it includes uh, a CSRF uh, token to prevent cross-site requests for the attacks. And let me show you the source code of uh, the page here. View page source. Scroll down and uh, look at the section of the form. You can see Spring Security automatically insert uh, the code a hidden field here with the name underscore csrf and value is uh, a random string here to prevent cross-site request forgery attacks so if you want to use the logout link uh, you can uh, disable csrf uh, to enable sending uh, http get request to the server to perform the logout function but it is not recommended because it's not secure let me show you how to change the code to use uh, a logout hyperlink instead of the uh, button to do that uh, you need to disable csrf in the um, http security configuration here 
and csrf csrf method here and uh, call disable and then you can use uh, hyperlink for the logout instead of a button with a uh, form now I change the uh, button to a hyperlink span class not link th f logout so this is a hyperlink uh, for the logout without csrf uh, token ok now let's uh, refresh home page i have to log in again because the application has restarted after i have made changes to the code sorry i need to specify the text for the hybrid Sorry, this should be a a tag. A yeah. Log out. And you can see the log out hybrid here. And uh, let me click it. You see, I can log out successfully. Uh, let me log in again, and I will show you no CS uh, CSRF token generated. Now let's view the page source and scroll down and you can see only a high blink, uh, no information about the CSRF token. So it is very unsecure if you uh, disable CSRF. So it is not recommended. Okay, so how to use the secure logout link? Why keeping still using std post request and still using csrf token to prevent cross site request for the real attacks? Let's keep the code for the form for the form so we can make a post request to the server here. But this time we uh, uh, show the form. We we don't show the form, so we use a time if attribute th hidden equal to to hide this form. So this button uh, uh, won't appear in the user interface, and then we use the uh, high blink for the logout. So I copy this code to create a hybrid here. Hmm. Look out. And you leave as a href uh, attribute to be empty for the hybrid. Refresh and you can see the logout hybrid here. Mm, and then in the web security config, you uh, enable CSRF by default. So delete this code that disables CSRF. So we can still uh, take the advantages of uh, Spring security to prevent CSRF attacks. We can use the script code directory in the uh, href attribute of the hybrid here. Java script, and we give the form a name, so we can access the form in Java script. Name equal lower form, and here we uh, uh, specify that as Java script command will be executed when the hybrid is clicked by the user 
uh, document and then the form name logout form and dot submit this we submit the, uh, the form here and uh, uh, an std post request will be sent to the server with this uh, url okay save and now uh, rest or uh, refresh I have to login again because I have changed the Java code with uh, CSRF uh, enabled by default and then you don't see the button right and with the page source uh, we still can see the CSRF uh, token generated by Spring Security here but now we can use a hybrid to perform logout command. Let's click logout. And you see I have been logout successfully. Uh, let me log in again. So I have uh, logged in uh, uh, successfully. And you can see when I hover the mouse over the logout hybrid, you can see the uh, JavaScript command in the status bar of the browser. You see JavaScript uh, document uh, logout. Here you can see. You can see the uh, JavaScript uh, have uh, appears in the status bar of the button when I over the mouse uh, over the logout hybrid here. Now you, we don't want to show this in JavaScript, so I will show you how. So we will use a little bit the query and JavaScript to hide the command the javascript command here yeah so we delete this javascript uh, command okay and we need to write a little bit javascript because this is a timely fragment file so i need to create a new javascript file here new as a javascript source file common.js okay and i uh, include the script link for that uh, common.js file script src equal ts src use tamif syntax slash js slash common dot js that's it to use the uh, external javascript file and then we will write the query code here to handle the click event of the um, local hybrid here Uh, we can copy the document ready function here. Okay. I give the logout uh, hybrid uh, an ID. ID equal logout link to select the logout link using the query. Uh, select um, statement. Select logout link. And on the click event, you know, we will execute a function. Function e is an event, and we need to call e dot prevent a default to prevent the default clicking event of a hive link, and then we call document in the form name logout form and uh, submit. That's it. Let's uh, refresh the um, application. Now let's hover the mouse over the logout and uh, you see we don't see the uh, 
we don't see the JavaScript uh, statement anymore in the status bar of the browser. That's the hyperlink to the home page, right? And now let's click the logout. And you see, I have been logged out successfully. So that's uh, how to use the uh, logout link in a Spring Boot application without uh, disabling uh, uh, CSRF uh, prevention, attack prevention. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe to help me grow this channel. Like, comment, share this video. Thank you.